today I wanted to make um, the chocolate chip cookies that I grew up with, which are my favorite. And I know everybody has their own favorite, but these are my favorite. So, this will be the recipe. Yes. You're gonna need flour, baking soda, salt, butter, white sugar, packed brown sugar, vanilla extract, two eggs, chocolate chips, and nuts are optional. Well, chocolate chips are optional too, but I like chocolate chips because it's a chocolate chip cookie. So I like to start with a big bowl and like a medium sized bowl. The big bowl will be for my wet ingredients and the smaller bowl, medium bowl, will be for my drier ingredients. So you want to start with one cup butter. I like to save the paper because this is what I'm going to use to wipe on my baking pan. Mm, I love butter. But I like to cut the butter into little squares. I wish I had my wooden spoons, but I don't. So this is what I have. Thank you, I'm gonna tie my hair. You wanna mix that with the sugar until you have this one sugar butter mixture. But I just really remember every weekend, or almost every weekend, whenever I would go down and see this block of butter sitting on the table in the kitchen, I knew that we would have cookies that day. And that's always just so nice. This is really tiring for the arms. You know, back in the olden days, they used to churn butter. I feel like this is what they were wearing. This is my milk maid outfit. So this is my brown sugar and I'm just putting it, you want to get your spatula or your hands and you just kind of want to pack the sugar. Okay, see now there's still some space. So then you add some more of brown sugar. Just, ooh, uh, brown sugar. Open it up and hello. And then you want to get your white sugar, but with white sugar, you don't pack it. You just kind of like even it out. So now you have 3 fourths cup brown sugar and 3 fourths cup white sugar. You want to just mix it together with the butter and you want to cream it together until you have like one uniform looking spread type thing. This is really not for mixing, it's flat. Oops, my hand. But then you add your vanilla extract and this uses about 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two. See, I just love the smell of this. Okay, so this needs two eggs, and I have these like kind of large eggs. And you just want to incorporate the eggs into the sugar vanilla mixture. It's on look appetizer. This is really a fun mixture to mix. It's all almost slimy. You're gonna set that aside and then we're gonna work on our dry mixture. I kind of like putting my flour in these big containers just because it's easier to scoop it out. That's one cup. And last. So you want to get your baking soda and you need about a teaspoon of baking soda. So that's one teaspoon of baking soda. Up next is salt. So I kind of just eyeball about half a teaspoon of salt. And then I just mix this all together. All right, so one of the things that uh, my friend Anna taught me is that you can already mix your chocolate chips or your nuts with your flour. And that way, when you're mixing it into your wet mixture, you don't need an additional, uh, an additional set of strokes to mix in your chocolate chips because it's already mixed in the flour. Okay, so I use a combination of dark chocolate chips and semi-sweet chocolate chips. And you want two cups of chocolate chips. I think this is going to be all of it. It's a lot of chocolate chips. But I love it. <laughs> I can make pancakes with these. Okay, so you want to incorporate, as you can see, your chocolate chips slowly because my bowl is pretty full now. I guess you could have two large bowls. I'm here. 
here at Jelly's. She is there and I am here. What I want to do is I want to grease this pan over here. And I just use the paper, the wrapper of the butter. And then I just kind of grease it. And so that we get even uh, scoops, I use an ice cream scooper. You can also use a tablespoon. A scoop is about a tablespoon and a half. I'm gonna just make it into a little ice cream scoop, actually an ice cream scooper. And then, so the oven has been... Ice cream! Jelly and Nika are there learning guitar. So you wanna press it down a little bit. Or you know, if you actually wanna sell cookies, then it's always better to weigh it out so you know you're getting exactly the same amount of dough. But I'm just gonna eat this. So you wanna... Nobody can see me right now. You wanna, you wanna put it at about halfway or middle, middle of the oven. Depending on your oven, I would say it can go for around eight to 10 minutes. So you just wanna check it around that range to see if you already have your cookies at the exact kind of shape you like them. And I'm gonna show it to you later. So these are the four cookies, and as you can see, I'm leaving them a little bit on the pan. You don't want to remove them just yet. Oh, they're still soft. Don't touch it while it is... Don't touch it while it is cooling down. Once you remove it from the oven, just let it sit there for a good like 10 minutes. That's still going to be cooking. Then when it's ready to move and pop out, then you can lift it and put it onto a cooling rack. It's kind of going to be... Ooh, it came up, so that's great. So it's gonna be crunchy on the outside and then really soft and chewy on the inside. I don't know why I sang that. Okay, so yay! Not excited. We're excited. Don't stack them up yet together. They need to completely cool. It's gonna take about 30 minutes. I hope you like the cookies. I hope you like this video. If you don't, well, then you at least have a cookie. Um, if not, then I already said that. <laughs> okay, so there is a thumbs up button at the bottom and say like it or not. You can also subscribe because I'll be posting other stuff. I post like videos and I guess the only thing I can post on YouTube are videos. So I'll be posting videos of covers or whatever, cookie making, stuff like that. I'm trying to remember if I forgot something. I probably did. I think I did. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys this cookie. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so happy. If you notice, I'm gonna start breaking this cookie. It's just nice and warm. It's already pretty cooled down. That's perfect. Outside and then it's really nice and chewy on the inside. It's so good. Cookie. Again, if you like this video, yay, press like. I hope you like the cookie. Um, let me know what you guys think or if you have other recipes that you want to link me to, I'd like to try them because, gosh, we're still locked down. Yay. See you next time. Bye. I want milk. Get milk. I wasn't taking a video. <laughs>